Business owners in downtown Rochester say they saw some much needed customers this weekend with Black Friday and Small Business Saturday, but they're still struggling to bounce back from pandemic shutdowns and the switch to telework a couple thousand people who used to be walking these sidewalks here in downtown five, five days a week now from work from home. Now there was some mixed reactions from businesses and Emily Pofall earlier spoke today with someone with some people who feel they've bounced back to normal, others not so much. Walk around downtown Rochester and you'll see these for lease signs posted on almost every block. Tangerine Gifts has been a downtown Rochester staple for more than 20 years. Joan Blakely McCoy is still trying to figure out how to get more people. It's very slow in the doors. It's very, very slow. They're not the only ones. Businesses like Jefe Rojo, Newt's Downtown, and Quiznos completely shuttering, all within the last few months. Patrick Sieb, executive director of Destination Medical Center, says the city has to reimagine downtown. What we relied on in the past is changing, and we have a new market um, to start to serve. Around 2,900 Mayo Clinic staff that used to work in person downtown now work remotely, according to a Mayo Clinic spokesperson. A number some businesses say is detrimental. I never thought that it would be like this, but it is. Pretty soon you're working for the landlord, not yourself anymore. And I can see that's happened a lot with a lot of businesses here. But Mayo Clinic says they're still expanding downtown. An expanded proton beam facility opening in 2026 will bring 117 new employees to the area. The medical giant also hopes to have the Anna Maria and Stephen Kellen building up and running by 2023, home base for 500 to 700 new and existing employees. DMC and local businesses want to expand the number of people living downtown to rely on neighbors instead of employees. Downtown has to become something special that people will choose to come downtown.